Hi, welcome to Z Gadget Review. So TCL announced new TVs coming out on 2021. It also announced a new mini LED technology that it has developed for their TVs. I don't know if you're aware, but TCL was the first company to go to con the consumer market with mini LED TVs back in uh, 2018, if I'm not mistaken. The technology promised to make the TVs better looking, brighter, with more zones, and pretty much everything that we've heard uh, so far from uh, Samsung and LG. For those videos, you can go up here, they'll appear, and I'm also going to have them on the description section. So the idea is mini LEDs are supposed to allow you to have more zones more LEDs in the screen, therefore giving you a brighter picture of better contrasts. If you know how a um, LCD screen is put together, you know that it has layers. You have the LEDs, the diffuser plate, and the display. So it's like different layers that come together. It's like a sandwich that, come, that it's put together. So the new technology that TCL has come up with is called OD0. OD stands for optical distance zero for the distance so zero optical distance pretty much is what they're calling this technology and what they've been able to do is reduce the gap between the diffuser plate and the mini leds they've also been able to make the mini leds smaller therefore packing more mini leds in the screen and also reducing the system the distance between each led the led is also going to include the quantum dot technology in them so what they're saying is that they, be, they will be able to have a better control of the zones and this is going to provide darker blacks instead of giving you dark grays and so overall the image is supposed to be better. Here's a rub. TCL has been working on mini LEDs as I, as I said since about 2018 when they first came to market. They have done different technologies within mini LEDs. Last year's uh, mini LED 8 series and 6 series had thicker panels and they had some issues with blooming as well. So what this new OD0 technology is supposed to do is supposed to make those TVs thinner and also is supposed to eliminate blooming or I guess reduce blooming because it's really hard to get rid of blooming on an LED display, so to reduce blooming, which means that technically the TVs that are going to be coming out this year will be better. Now that's assuming that every single TV in their lineup that uses mini LED technology is going to use all these zero technology. The thing is that we don't know yet because they haven't said which TVs are going to be using this new mini LED or this zero technology. TCL is getting into the big screen game. As you heard, we have Sony, LG coming out with 83 inch screens. TCL is going to top them by coming up with 85 inch screens. Now for this are being called TCL XL, I guess it's a fitting name. Get in my belly! So TCL's current lineup goes up to 75 inches. The XL is going to add the extra size of 85 inches. And for this one, you're going to have three different models to choose from. The entry level is going to be, again, an 85 inch. The model is going to be 85R435 4 Series. This is going to be a TCL Roku 4K TV. It's going to be the most affordable of the bunch. They have actually announced pricing for this. It's going to be $1599, so $1600 for 85 inch screen TV. Uh, you're going to have basic 4K HDR support. Um, it won't include any more advanced features. So that means no HDMI 2.1 or BRR or any of those features. 125 refresh rate isn't going to be on these screens either. This won't be a QLED panel either. If you want to take advantage of, the, of a QLED panel, then you need to go to the next model, which is the middle of the line model. This is going to be the 85R745. It's also going to be a 4K TV. Uh, this one is going to offer Dolby Vision, variable refresh rate, 120 Hertz refresh rate on the screen. So this is going to be your middle of the line entry level TV if you want to game on a TCL TV. 
And we have the flagship 85 inch TV, which is going to be, you guessed it, 8K. Why do you keep pushing 8K? And so this one is actually going to offer mini LED technology. We don't have pricing on the middle of the line or the AK 85 inch TV. They have only gift pricing for the entry level, but you can do your calculations if the entry pricing for the 85 inch um, screen is $15.99, then you can guess how much more the other ones will be. I will say that 85 inch AK will probably be around 2,500. I will say it doesn't go over 3,000 if it even gets to $3,000. But if you think about it, this is a fraction of the price of what an 80 inch TV will cost you for any of the other competitors. So technically it's a pretty affordable TV. Oh, no. Sometimes I think these butterflies are in here. Next we have the TCL 6 series. And for the TCL 6 series this year, they will not have any more 4K displays. They are going full 8K with the TCL 6 series. If you want a 4K TV from TCL for their 6 series TV, last year's 4K TVs will still be on sale and around for you to be able to pick them up if you want to, because this year's model 2021 is going to be 8K. And so why do I make a big deal about 8K? So, so far we had offerings for AK offerings when it comes to LED displays from Samsung. And Samsung's display wasn't the greatest ever. Literally, the reviews were, if you, are, if you can afford a 4K display, buy a 4K TV instead of an AK TV because it's not worth it. And it's not worth it not only because there is an AK content out there and the image is getting upscaled and all this, so these displays don't really offer that much of an upgrade except for having the AK badge on it when it comes to actual image. I know that people are like, well, I have an AK TV, I can tell the difference. There isn't really that much of a difference because again, you are upscaling an image. It's like me saying that my 1080p DVD looks great on my 4K display. I can say that if I want to, doesn't mean that that's true. So Carlos, why is TCL going AK if, as you say, the technology isn't there and is not worth it? Well, it's simple. TCL isn't a household name like Sony and Samsung and LG. So what does making an affordable AK TV just for TCL? One, it gets people to buy their TVs because there's a lot of people out there who don't do any research before they buy a TV and they just see price and uh, resolution and they give you their money. And that's what TCL is betting on. TCL is betting on people saying, oh, hell, that's an AK TV for what? It's probably going to be $1,500. It can't, it, it sh like it shouldn't be more than that. And I'm not talking $1,500 entry level because you're going to have three sizes for this, for this TV. You're going to have uh, the 55 inch, 65 inch, and 75 inch. Obviously, we don't have any pricing on the new models yet, but last year's models, to give you an idea, you could pick up a 55 inch 4K QLED TCL 6 series for $650 on Amazon right now. Like I'm looking on the website right now, you can go and buy it for $650. The 65 inch sells for $900 and the 75 inch sells for $1,400. And we just heard that the XL model that is a mini LED, right? That's going to be 85 inches, basic 4K TV. It's going to start at $1,600. You know, you got to deduce what the price could be there. Technically, they could charge because it's an 8K TV, right? They can bump up the price and charge more because the resolution is higher. For the 75 inch, they could charge $1,800, you know, makes sense and they could do the 1600 the 65 inch for 1200 and let's say the 55 inch for a thousand and that will put tcl selling you an ak tv for a thousand dollars and that's why they're doing it because if you want an ak tv from samsung for a thousand dollars that's not gonna happen from sony mm -mm. lg no you won't be able to find an ak tv for a thousand dollars from anyone else but TCL. 
And when someone's at the store looking for a TV and they see that AK mini LED for a thousand dollars, you know they're gonna buy that TV. And not only that, it's advertisement for them. AK TV from TCL, thousand dollars. What? This is what TCL does. They look for ways to get their name out there to people and they offer products for less money than anybody else can give you. It's not gonna be amazing. You're not gonna be blown away by the image of it, but it's going to work. And for most people, that's all they need, that's all they want. And that's how TCL is where they are today. I've personally never used a TCL TV or actually seen a TCL TV in person. So if you are someone who has a TCL TV, let me know what your experience is. Do you like it? Do you enjoy it? Are you looking forward to the new TVs that are coming out from TCL? Let me know in the comment section. That's it for me. Go ahead and subscribe and give us a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. Go ahead and hit that bell so you can be alerted every time we have new videos. And thank you very much for watching.